Hello there, everybody. This is the Arctic Platypus here today, and I've never done one of these before, but I'm going to cover the Alpha 7 update for 7 Days to Die that just came out today. Well, it's today for me. It's going to be actually Saturday, March 1st for all of you guys that this video is uploaded, I think, most likely. Um, I am in, I'm immensely impressed by this update. Like, I've never covered any other updates, but... Um, this is by far the biggest update I've ever seen of any game that I've ever played. So, I, when, right when I spawned in, my first two words were literally, holy shit. Like, I got in there, and it looked like an entirely new game. I was so incredibly impressed. These developers, it took them one and a half months to do this update, and I that is... I, it is amazing. I don't even know. It's, it seems impossible that they did this in that short of a time. I mean, they were probably working on it before the Alpha 6 update, but still, this is, this is insane. So, I'll start off with the probably the most important feature, the most, uh, like, um, visual feature, the one that you can see the most easily, most noticeable feature, smooth terrain, and that goes kind of along with the complete visual overhaul that they did to this game. It looks so good. The graphics have improved so much. The game looks amazing. It looks gorgeous. The smooth terrain, it makes the blocks just smooth together. I mean, they're not perfect yet. Uh, I mean, the hills are not perfect yet. They, You can still totally see that it's made of blocks. But actually, when you go mining, which you will see on the screen... It looks, it does not look blocky at all. It looks completely smooth. Like an actual cave, it looks awesome. And then they added gravel, for, so the caves are very easy to mine, or easier, and then it's easier to see the ores. And it looks so good down in the caves, especially since they added a new lighting system, which makes place torches have the same effect as carried torches. So it looks so good. The torches look so good. You'll see on the screen, it looks awesome. But... Yeah, the mining looks amazing. And also, the trees. They're not block-based anymore. They look so good. They look like trees that you would see in, like, maybe even Battlefield 4. I don't, they look really good. Those trees look so good. And then also, the ground textures, a lot of the block textures, have been made into very high quality. Very good-looking trees. Or, not trees. Uh, sorry. The trees look good, but... The blocks, like the grass, looks so amazing. And the snow biome looks awesome. Just the whole game looks so good. And the, there's a whole new lighting system too, so um, not only torches, but just everything. The lighting looks so good. It, the, it's amazing. And I'll show you the old terrain and mining system and the lighting effects, and you'll see how much of a difference they've made with this update. It is so good, so amazingly good. And then the, probably the next most important thing is the stealth system. So you can crouch and the zombies will have a way ha harder chance of seeing you. And this kind of goes along with how that. They actually changed the whole AI of the zombies. So, and there's, okay, this is a whole new, th a whole bunch of things here. Um, sound system, they've had a sound system go along with the stealth system. Um, the sounds, as you will see on the screen, there's a but like it, you have to be really quiet if you don't want zombies to find you. You have to like make the quietest, quietest decisions. Like I would recommend making a crossbow using uh, melee weapons. Like I'll show you <laughs> the bad side of this. Um, if like I pull out an SMG and a bunch of explosive barrels, oh my gosh, it it calls in hordes when you do that. And it's not a good idea. I'd recommend running than crouching, and they won't—they they won't be able to find you. It's a—it's a lot easier to run away from them now, but, which is good. It's more realistic. Um, it's a lot more realistic. I also—you uh, can throw rocks, as you can see on the screen. You can throw rocks to distract the zombies. Very useful if you're just hiding in the night, just wandering around hiding. If a zombie gets close to you, looks at you, throw the rock. He'll run towards the rock. It is so cool. Um, I also noticed, I don't know if this is with all guns, but I was only testing it with the crossbow, I think you'll see on the screen, um, a stealth double damage shot, 
that like I shot the zombie in the head and it said it did double damage because it was stealth. So that was pretty cool. I, I thought that was really cool. Um, I think that's it for the stealth system, but very impressive. I love the stealth system. It's very useful. It changes everything. It changes gameplay entirely. And also, another very important thing, the uh, there's loot, there's timers on the looting. Um, so you can, as you can see, like looting a garbage pile is like a second or so, and then looting a car is like five seconds, and looting, oh my, there's a safe you'll see on the screen that I had to loot. It took 30 seconds to loot, 30 full seconds. It was insane, but worth it. There was like a shotgun in there or something. And um, actually, I didn't end up using this. I used all of the uh, rounds that were in it, but I never really used it for that much because I figured out the crossbow is way more effective and it does not it, it doesn't call in as much zombies. Um, so also, crouch looting is a lot slower. It's actually twice as slow, but it's apparently quieter. Um, this whole sound system is very cool. Like each thing has a realistic amount of sound that goes along with it. It's so cool. Um, there's also timers on the crafting, but don't be worried if you're angry that it's like too hard to craft things and wait. You can actually it will craft things for you if you exit your in inventory and do it. And you can do anything still without with it still crafting in your inventory. So that's it doesn't change very much, but it just makes it a little bit more realistic, I think. Oh, another very important thing: the cooking system. You can uh, go to a campfire. Uh, press your activate button on it. It's D by default E, but I changed it to F because my inventory is E. But um, so I pressed F, and you go into this awesome menu that lets you p you can put in a bunch of different types of like tools. I think there's a cooking pot and a bunch of other things like sharpened sticks can be used, and it will produce many many vari variations of meat like charred meat, broiled uh, boiled meat. Um, a bunch of different things. I, can't, I don't have all of them like written down anywhere, but that's it's so cool, so cool. And uh, there's a, that's a minor thing. I'll show you. There's a new death drop. There's new death drop options. So um, there's like you can have it so that when you die, you drop n none of your inventory, or you drop your toolbar only, or you drop your backpack only, or you drop everything. I personally like the everything option because when you drop everything it um it's it's very realistic because i don't like how you spawn back with your, your all the stuff in your backpack because it just doesn't make sense and dying and losing everything it's very harsh but it's more realistic i think it's more fun so this update is huge as you can see on my screen just everything looks completely different it looks like an entirely new game and um i'm gonna I'm going to do a review on every single update that comes out for 7 Days to Die. Because I am so impressed by these developers. They are so good. They listen to everything the, compu the community says. They, they A lot of these things were recommended by community. Um, a lot of them. I, I, I was reading the forums before this because I was waiting for a week. I was so excited to get this update. And I was reading on the forums. A lot of these were mentioned in a forum posts. And... They covered so much. It is so impressive how much they got into this update. I like. <laughs> I don't even know how they did it. And the the thing is, the smooth terrain. It's not even done. It's it already looks so good. The world looks so good, and it's not even done. Like they're gonna. In the, they said in alpha eight, the next big real update. Um, they're gonna have it like almost completely like worked out the smooth terrain is going to be really it's going to like look completely smooth and perfect so i am already um so excited but <laughs> i just played right when i got home i i saw that 7 s i updated i wasn't expecting it to update today because i thought that they would have some bugs and it would actually come out probably like tomorrow but um it came out today i just played it for two hours it felt like 10 minutes i swear it felt like, such a short time, I was having so much fun, it was so addictive, um, and I recorded that, like, whole time, I recorded, like, the whole two hours, so that's, I have a lot of good footage for this update video, and I also, I'm also gonna put a lot of the footage in my 7 Days to Die review video, um, which will come out later this week, um, but yeah, 
that is this update. It is so amazing. So if you have not bought Seven Days to Die before, uh, I would totally recommend getting it. It's an amazing game, but that will be in the review. So um, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you enjoyed. Comment below if you have any ideas, if you have any things to say. But that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.